Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this picture on Facebook and asked how you would make this. And somebody answered them with a pretty cool website called makercase.com. I think that's all you have to put in, makercase.com, and it comes up with this. Uh, you could change it to a two inch by two inch box, uh, outside dimensions, inside dimension, and that's gonna you know make it bigger or smaller. That doesn't really matter. Your material thickness, eighth inch wood, if you're gonna use it, you can change the size. You can have a open or closed box. We're gonna make a closed box. I'm gonna do this in two parts. Uh, I'm gonna try to adapt those legs and then you want, you don't want flat, you want finger joints. And then you download the plans. And, all, well, let me back up here before we do that. With this, you can change the size of the fingers. And I suggest on a smaller box like that, kind of like right in about there. Download box plans. Well, first of all, let's do here. Let's go and see if there's any other things we could change. Let's download the plans. And under here, we're going to disable the labels because we don't want the labels. Well, let's tell you what, let's, let's use the labels. And because that might help us on the front because this is the, the top. So now uh, go and uh, I'm going to go with DXF. And I'm going to say, okay. And there, there's that box. Now, I really want to, I don't, they put it in a, uh, like a vector. So I don't, I don't necessarily need the um, labels. I'm going to leave the top. Well, I can't do that because I just deleted some of the figures. And, and if you can see here, we're going to not worry about anything but the top. So we just remember that this one's a top. Now these are broken pieces. So what I would suggest to do is to make a field. Let's set our, let's see how big this thing is. It's six and a quarter. Let's change our nudge factor to seven. And let's take the smart fill tool and nudge these parts over. That, what that's going to do is going to keep it a solid line because we're going to have to change it up in the second, whoop, in the second video. So we could actually delete all these. Grab all these and go left click, right click, and make sure it's a hairline for cutting. Now, stay tuned for part two. I'm going to try to show you the idea for the lid itself and the hinge. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching. And I'll put a link at the bottom of the video for that maker case.